back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make reborn formula food and give you guys feeding tips for your reborn. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here are the supplies you need. Of course, you're going to need a bottle for your reborn milk. I'm using this Philips Avent bottle. I got it at the Dollar General for about $6. And you'll need some water, lotion, and it has to be white and unscented. And for the food, you're just going to need flour and then water. So I think the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to make is the reborn milk. Okay, so I have everything I need for the milk. Um, here's a trick when making reborn milk with your lotion. is You're going to need to have half of half water of how many, how many ounces. So say I wanted six ounces of milk in this bottle, I would put three ounces in because the lotion will make the bottle the milk expand so you need to have half of water as you need milk if it makes any sense so i'm gonna go ahead and put the water in the bottle all right guys for my bottle i want four ounces of milk because i plan on making a video with Chloe, so of course she is a big, big baby, but she's also small, so she needs um, a generous amount of milk, which is four ounces. So I put two ounces of water in. I don't know if you can see that, but I put two ounces in. And now you're gonna need to squeeze some mirror lotion. If it's not really an exact measurement, if I were to say have an exact measurement, I would say about two tablespoons because that's a lot of lotion. So we'll go ahead and squeeze the lotion in. the lotion I'll squeeze in the bottle and all you have to do is just close the bottle and shake it up. Now it depends on how much how thick you want your lotion I mean how thick you want your milk or how thin you want your milk if you want it thick add a lot of lotion and if you want it like really thin add very little but it still needs to be a color which is white so add enough to how you feel but here's the bottle I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. guys I have made the bottle and yep I was right it expands and now we have four ounces of milk in our bottle but that's pretty much how you make reborn milk all you need is water and lotion which I'm pretty sure you can find it around your house now let's go ahead and get started with the baby food or toddler food recipe all right I moved my angle so you guys can see a little bit better all you really need for this recipe is just some flour and water. Now with this, you know whenever you use flour and water, it starts to be doughy because it's for baking. So I want you guys to follow the exact thing I'm doing because sometimes when I make it for my reborn roll plate, it gets really thick. So after a while when you set it down, it gets thick. So I would say you can make it thin and wait a few minutes and it should be pretty thick. So, you know, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to take my flour. I just have it in this um, pink little container I got for Lily's food. I put a video about it on my channel a few months back. But all I'm going to do is take my spoon, and it depends on what size your spoon is. I like to use this small spoon, like a baby spoon, and get two scoops. So I'm going to put it on my plate. All right, I have enough flour. Uh-oh, I'm getting it everywhere. I have to clean it up anyways, so. Okay, I am back. I have to get the flour off of my dresser area. Now, what I'm gonna do is add, first, I like to start off with two scoops of, not two scoops, two little spoonfuls of water, and it depends on how much you have. But I think for this one, I'm gonna do three, because this is a lot of flour. Uh-oh, well, there's the, water and you just want to mix it up like you'll see it start to get doughy but that's fine because after a while you're going to add a few more droplets of water but I think for this considering it fell out the spoon I might have enough water so I'm going to go ahead and make this up So 
compared to consistency, it's a little thick, so that means if it sets out for a little bit, it'll get thicker, but it's pretty good for now. That's if you want to make your reborn stuff right away. So I think we say, I think I'll say I have a pretty good amount of water and the consistency is pretty good, but I like mine to be a little bit runnier, so I'm going to add more water. guys here's the finished result i say it's pretty good it's a nice consistency and you can use it for your toddlers or like your older babies like your three to six month size babies i think it's pretty good the consistency is good um like i said it's gonna be a little runny so after it's like sets for a little bit it'll get thicker to your you know desire but if you like your a little bit thinner this is a perfect for you um, like I said, if you want yours to be thicker, let it sit out for maybe three or four minutes because it takes a, a short time to get thick and it should be good to go. So that is the reborn food. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this was helpful or not to you. I hope it was. Like I said, this is pretty simple to make. You should find most of this stuff around your house. And if you don't, it's probably, it's going to be very cheap at the dollar store. I'm not sure if you can find flour at the dollar store, but I know lotion goes at the dollar store for like $2. So yeah, this is a pretty easy craft to make. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.